Want to unstoppable confidence to try something new? Well, you're at the right place as we get guidance from Tony Robbins on achieving incredible confidence. If today's video is of help and you'd like to see more content like this, then please leave a like, share the video with friends and family and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Okay, you want to do something which wouldn't normally be the norm for you. You prepare and set yourself to go ahead and at the moment you need to take action, you stop. Fear grips you and you stop yourself from following through. Guess what? We've all been there. Confidence is a problem for many and all have a moment or two in life where they lose all confidence when they wish they had followed through. In this video, I want to change that. I want you to be confident and follow through with doing what you want to do in life. Therefore, I'm going to none other than Tony Robbins to understand five practical tips you can apply to build incredible confidence and take action to do what's important to you. The five areas to be covered will be to have belief, prime yourself and set your state, build momentum, focus, and do what you don't think is natural to you. First and foremost, you need to have belief in whatever it is you're undertaking. If you want to grow a business, ask out your dream date or simply meet new people, you need to be in a state where you can fully and completely believe that you will succeed. Without belief, what happens is the seeds of doubt are placed in your mind. When you work towards your targets and hit any moments of difficulty, those doubts are instantly being highlighted and magnified in your mind. This in turn lets the fear of failure control you and force you to give up hope or to achieving your dream. However, why is it doubts can have such control over us? It's actually because of how our brains are wired. Historically, we learn and use experience to work as a defense mechanism, both in our behavior and how we react chemically to different situations. Take for example someone who has been in a serious relationship and had a bad breakup. In their next relationship, do you think they're going to show the same level of vulnerability they previously showed, or do you think they're going to go in a little bit guarded? Chances are, for most, it'll be the latter, right? That's because our brain, notably the amygdala, provide emotional responses of fear as a form of self-preservation. Historically, this was critical in survival when in the wilderness, whereas today we have more opportunities to overcome that response and to pursue what we know is of value to us. And this is why belief is so important. In the moments where your brain is trying to hold you back to protect you, your belief can overcome the doubts and allow you to take a risk which ultimately you know isn't likely to be life-threatening and not taking action is actually more likely to be holding you back. Now what if something could happen that could come along and fill you with a sense of absolute certainty, not like I believe, but I mean where you know, in you guys' case, mine as well, we knew because we had to because we burned the boats, there was no other option. We had to find a way. We'd had, we weren't gonna live that way. We all did it in different ways and for different reasons, but in essence, that was it. If you get yourself in a state of certainty that this is gonna work, I'm gonna find a way, and if this doesn't work, I will make the way, then you tap a lot more potential. And when you're certain in your potential, you take massive action. When you take massive action, you really believe in something, you get great results. When you get great results, your brain goes, see, I told you I was a stud. I told you this thing would work out. Now you're even stronger. You tap more potential, take greater action, greater results. That's how you went from 300 bucks in a week to 2,500 in five days, to 100,000 in a month, to a million bucks in a day. Same thing with you. And we get momentum. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Now some people go out and they go, well, I'm gonna take a bunch of action, all right? I'm gonna open this product, I'm gonna try it. And they'll say to you, I even did it. But it's like a salesman who goes and knocks on the door and he knocks on 100 doors and says, you don't want one of these, do you? Yeah, exactly right. You know? <laughs> and even if he doesn't say it verbally, his face says it because he doesn't believe it's going to work. So his voice, his body, the execution is so weak. Maybe if he talks to 100 people, somebody's going to buy out of pity. <laughs> they don't want his kids to starve, right? But he's not going to get the result. Now, this leads us to the next point. We have beliefs, but how do you put yourself in a state to act on your belief? Be prepared to take action and follow through with what you want to achieve. The key is what Tony Robbins calls priming or basically taking actions to put yourself in a state of taking action and not sitting still. Now there are two key areas to focus when looking at your state through priming, the physical and the mental. On the physical, you want to work towards putting yourself in physical shape where you feel like you can take on the world. So how do you do this? Well, think about a moment when you felt on top of the world. 
This might be a moment when you achieve something great, or even just a moment you remember feeling great when you saw something. Now, in this moment, what was your posture? You were stood or sat straight, shoulders back and ready for action like a superhero, right? Therefore, the first point is to take up this posture, where you felt you could take on the world and do something. Move, walk, run, just something. You see, movement is exercise and exercise benefits our body. Exercise is critical to feeling good and therefore critical to getting in a state of confidence and readiness to take action. When you exercise, you secrete dopamine, the neurotransmitter that makes you feel good. So take up a posture and exercise for your physical well-being. Next, you want to focus on the mental state. First, I'd say meditate because meditation has a number of benefits, notably helping you focus and relax, two key components of confidence. From there, do other exercises to help you build your mental state of believing. Whether it be through incantations or affirmations, give your beliefs references to make them stronger and work on your psychology and thus your state. The third point to building confidence is building momentum. When you watch a motivational video or a video on starting a YouTube channel, what is the one consistent point they make? It's just to get started and take action, right? Why is this? Why get started even when you're not ready? It's because nothing can happen if you don't take action. After all, you can't score a match winning point if you're on the bench, right? You have to be on the field of play. And the same goes for anything. Nothing happens if you don't take action. And from action comes another fundamental point. Action builds momentum. Let's take working or studying as an example. Usually, most of us struggle to take the first step when we have to do something, right? We'll put it off, hesitate, just procrastinate and not get started, despite knowing the benefit. However, after you get started, what happens? You do a task, feel good, and then often do the next task, right? Soon enough, we're talking about being in the zone. And here's what happens. We take action, we gain a little success, and on the success, we hit our friend dopamine again making us feel better. When we feel better, the brain is triggered to think, I like that, I want another hit. And guess what? Momentum builds from there. Momentum is key because each time we succeed, we get our hit of dopamine and that builds our confidence. Along with our positive experiences, which is going back to our earlier point, it breaks down the fear that stems from the amygdala. Now, you might be wondering how to make the first critical step. Well, to do this, do a simple exercise that Mel Robbins has built her whole career around. What is it? The five second rule. Simply put, when you have to take action, do a countdown from five to zero and launch into action as though you're a rocket ship. This simple but ingenious method is a perfect way to push yourself into action before your brain can make you stop. Do it and build momentum. The next point is incredibly simple, yet something so many struggle or fail to do, which is focus. So let's say you want to build your own business, what do you focus on? Do you focus on the outcome you're working towards or the potential pitfalls you might face? At this point, you're probably thinking, well, clearly the outcome I work towards. But that's the thing. Many people shift focus from what they are working for to what might go wrong. Instead of saying, I could have financial freedom with this business, they think, what if I fail to grow this business? I'll be laughed at by all my peers. This is the same point I made earlier about fear stemming from the amygdala. People let fear hold them back because the brain is trying to protect them, which leaves them with regret later down the line. Now here's the key. Where your focus lies is where you end up. If you focus on the negative output, the results will be negative. If you focus on the positive, there's a chance you might not achieve what you set out to do, but you've just significantly improved the odds in your favor. So focus on the outcome you have every intention to reach and stay focused. Or as Gary Vaynerchuk would say, go tunnel vision. Finally, do what isn't natural to you. Humans are strong, skilled, adaptable creatures. It's the reason we're the dominant species on the planet today. We often place limitations and beliefs on ourselves without realizing we're often capable of so much more. For example, you might struggle with speaking to people. The best thing to do in this scenario is to push yourself and to talk to people anyway. Go beyond your comfort zone because that's where the growth takes place. Learn and practice and if you suck, try again and do it anyway. 
Here's the thing, people can overcome what doesn't come naturally by learning and practicing. It's because there were people willing to do this that we've seen some of the greatest feats in the history of mankind. So to reiterate, if you want to build unbeatable confidence, follow these tips. First, have belief. Second, prime yourself and set your state. Third, build momentum. Fourth, focus. Fifth, do what you think is not natural to you. So go out there, build your confidence and take action. Soon enough, you'll be able to live the life of your dreams. All of us have um, uh, kind of an identity for ourselves, a way of defining ourselves. And human beings don't usually stray from that. So if you consider yourself to be a conservative person or a shy person, I know the way you move to some extent. I know the facial expressions, the gestures, the way you use your body. And it's all consistent with the fact that human beings, our strongest drive is the need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. If your self-definition is, uh, I'm a situation where I'm kind of, uh, what was the word he used? Uh, uh, shy. Shy. Th then you're gonna find a way to get to a place where you kind of cower back. Right. The fastest thing you could do to change your experience would be to create a new little thing, a simple thing like erase. The minute you go, I'm shy, you go erase. That's a BS story. Uh, BS meaning uh, belief system. <laughs> okay. now that, that's just a story. And if you tell yourself a story long enough, you start to believe it. Once you believe it, you act like it. When you keep calling yourself shy, you believe it. You go, Tony, I've always been shy. Up until this moment, do something that's completely outside what you would normally do. Something, become somebody else. Decide who's the most playful, passionate, outrageous, fun person you know and behave like them for two or three days. Just push yourself to behave like that. And here's what's happened. It'll be shocking, it'll be weird, it'll be different, you'll feel uncomfortable, but after a while, you'll get reinforced. It's like, if you get a nice haircut, you, get, you make a change in the way you look, people will compliment you. You'll get some compliments, and those compliments will make you want to use those other parts yourself. Thanks for watching. If today's video was of help and you'd like to see more content like this, then please leave a like, share the video with friends and family, and consider subscribing if you haven't already.